Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boys and Grove, and today we're going to do an unboxing and review of Makita's 18 volt pin nailer. Let's get into it. A while back, someone mentioned in the comments that a pin nailer would really help me out with my finished work, so upon that suggestion, I went shopping for a pin nailer. Now, most of my tools are DeWalt, but the DeWalt cordless pin nailer happens to be $300 and that was more than I was willing to spend on a pin nailer. So my choices were down to Milwaukee and Makita, but Milwaukee only takes their 12 volt batteries and all my Milwaukee tools take the 18 volt. So that left me needing to buy batteries just for the pin nailer. So I ended up going with the Makita. Now I want to preface all this by saying that I am not sponsored by Makita at all. They did not ask me to talk about this. I did not get the tool for free. I paid for it out of my own pocket. So this review is just my honest opinion on how I feel about this tool after having used it for some time. The Makita is still a little on the pricey side at $200, but their standard batteries fit and I already had some tools with the standard batteries. So therefore I didn't need to buy any batteries or a charger. A couple of the features that I absolutely love about this nailer is number one, it takes the standard size batteries. Number two, is it extremely lightweight and has a nice slim design. Another thing that I really like is that not only do their batteries have a battery power indicator on the battery, but it also has a battery power indicator on the gun itself so that you can see it right there where your hand is. It's really convenient. One of my favorite things about this gun is how smoothly it operates. The first time I used it, I wasn't even sure if it was working correctly because it is so quiet and has absolutely zero kickback. So I had to check to make sure that it was actually putting the pins in because it is just so smooth. The nailer comes with a couple goodies like a box of assorted different size pins to get you started, some safety goggles that I'll probably never use, and a clip to add onto the side of the gun. I also like this nice clear indicator so that you know how many pins you have left. It's pretty common for nailers to have LED indicators on them, but I really like this one. It actually works really well and it's really bright. Now, coincidentally, one of the biggest downfalls for this gun is that it takes the standard size battery. So that like doubles the weight of this gun by having this big battery on it. But still, I really like the convenience of it. What did not come with this nailer is any kind of a case, not even a soft bag. You would think at this price point, it would come with something to carry it in, but I guess I'm just stuck carrying it around like this. What are we like animals? All right, bottom line, should you spend the money on this nailer or not? Well, that's really up to you and your situation. I am in and out of my shop and off site a lot. So having a nailer that I don't have to worry about a hose or worry about a tank is great for me. Yes, it is a little pricey because you can pick up a regular pneumatic for anywhere from 30, 40, $50. So yeah, the price does make a big difference. But for me, the convenience trumps that price every time. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. We put out a project video every week, so make sure to check those out, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And if you've purchased this tool yourself, we'd love to hear what you think about it in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Be safe and have a great day.